And now we go to our gold medal final. Ready to come out the tunnel. Here comes 25-year-old Aisulu Tenebikova of Kyrgyzstan. Very scrappy. Second of the Asian Games, world bronze medals in 2017. Two-time Olympian finishing 13th back in 2012 in London and wrestled for a medal in Rio, ultimately came up with a fifth place finish. Junior world bronze medalist in 2013 and her opponent is Yukako Kawai, the 21-year-old U23 world champion and world silver medalist a year ago, made a considerable jump after finishing just ninth at the Junior World Championships in 2017, found herself in the gold medal finals in Budapest last year, and then the U23 World Championships. She brought home that shiny yellow one, the gold medal. And so far, throughout this tournament, Japan and China both with three gold medals. Japan will wrestle for gold at this weight and at 72. Here at 62. <laughs> And passivity now being offered. And confirmed against Kawhi. She will go in the activity period. That clock expires. She'll give up a point for inactivity. Swing and a miss on the sweep single attempt. And you hear the chime, one point for Tinebikova. On the inactivity point, as we're under a minute to go here in our first period. Third weight class contested this evening. Jason Bryan here with you from Xi'an, China, in Vengo Gymnasium on the campus of Xidian University. In this ancient city now, short arm drag to a single leg. Tinebikova trying to hip in. Kawhi covers, doubles, gets the two on the takedown to take a 2-1 lead. Now going to load the gut over. That's two more. Tinebikova trying to swim forward. Another gut. And Kawhi wisely keeping herself in the center of the mat, or at least inside that zone. So she could possibly score another. No, but they blow it dead and bring the athletes up. So the takedown, the gut wrench, the gut wrench. Math class teaches that three two-point actions is six points on the board. At least it's supposed to teach you that. <coughs> And a one, six one lead for Yukako Kawai. And 
And here you see how Kawhi finishes. Looked like Tinnabakova was going to try to whip over, but. Kawhi just driving through is like, nope, you're not going to do that. I just saw that happen the match before this. Back to action. Tinnabakova was trying the two-on-one tie. Now referee warning her from taking that elbow out too far, it would appear. Hard club to a collar tie. Tinnabakova backing Kawhi to the edge. Kawhi circles back to the center. Half shot attempt by Tinnabakova. And whistle's going to blow. We're going to get some passivity or we're going to get an attention. Saw a wag of the finger. Didn't see who it was directed at it. Possibly Kawhi now. Tinnabakova drives a deep underhook. So jack up Kawhi here. They caution and one. The fleeing is going to go against Kawhi. She's backing straight out of the hold. And Tinnabakova's going to go right back to it, maybe try to force another one. Kawhi tried to throw it by with a 2 on 1 drag, but now wisely circles back to the center, aware of where she's at. And Tinnabakova. Bullying this through is we gonna have a step out and push out. We got one point. What's the call? We got one, one blue, one red. What's the Matt Chairman gonna say? The Matt Chairman's gonna call for a conference. Will be a discussion. <laughs> Two red is the call from the Matt Chairman. They say that's good enough for two on the edge. Again, the edge takedowns called just a little bit more liberally than they are in the center of the mat. Now, Kawhi. Tries to go to work with a sweep single, but Tipakova's closed the gap to 6-4. And now goes with that underhook and collar tie. And it's trying to walk Kawhi on the mat. Not a whole lot she's trying to do other than draw a flea or bait Kawhi into a throw situation. Kawhi realizes it. It's turning and circling in. And a caution in one is being called for. It has not been confirmed. Caution one called for again. Now it's confirmed with 27 seconds to go. And now that's the second caution. It gets a point to Tenebakova. And Kawhi has to be careful because that's two cautions. Three cautions is a disqualification. So now shoots the old Kemsville stall. That's where you'll shoot the leg and just hang on. Got to be careful here to avoid any belly tilts or exposures from this situation. Tinnabakova locks in the crotch and 
Again, Kawhi hanging on the leg. He's got to keep her hips down. And Tinnabakova brings her over for two and is going to see a challenge. Oh, time runs out. We have a challenge coming from Blue, but this one's academic. The exact thing she needed not to do, she did. And that gave Tinnabakova everything she needed to crotch lift through and get the exposure. The Japanese coaches motioning that they don't believe there was exposure. I think it's more of what they call the YOLO brick. You can't keep it, you might as well use it. And yep, clearly two points for red. But that's not the view the referees will see. You'll see it on the big screen here, as you see the official, the athletes, and the jury of appeal at the bottom of your screen. They are looking at the big screen. And that is where the official review comes. I mean, that one's pretty clear to me. But again, I'm not an official. Read the rule book a lot, though. So Tinnabakova is going to get that and an extra point for the lost challenge. And officially, 8-6 to six will be the victory and a gold medal in the Asian Championships for Kyrgyzstan, Aisulu Tinnabakova.